For more updates, please subscribe to the Chef channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Hi, welcome back to Desert Chef. Today we are making a grilled fish. A grilled fish I am using sea bream. Sea bream is very famous fish in the Middle East and nowadays it is available in India and other areas also. So normally here we use this fish for the fish mandi. Fish mandi they prepare the rice and everything and then they grill the fish and then keep it on the top of the mandi and they serve it. And also this can be served as a grilled fish. So why we are choosing this fish? Because this has very few bones and it is a fresh water fish. And one more thing, the beauty of this fish is we can make this kitab cutting, book cut. So book cut, why they make the book cut? Because on the top of the skin, if you apply any spices or masala or any marination, it won't stick properly. So when you open this like a book, the fish can be opened like a book. So the inside the flesh on the direct flesh, if you apply this masala, this marination, it sticks to that. And when you put it in the grill, the top layer along with the masala, this has to be burned. And that inside should be flesh should be soft and juicy. So that is why normally we use this fish. And the taste wise also it is very good and very taste very tasty. Even if you are not getting this kind of a fish in your areas, go to pomfret or uh, Thalapia. Thalapia also you can make a book cut. And the pomfret it is very difficult to make the book cut. So you can just slit into two pieces and then put the marination. It tastes very nice and uh, the flesh also the meat you know from outside it is crispy and inside it is juicy and tender so you please try this one you will love this even if you don't have oven just keep it on tower and pan and do put little oil and make a shallow fry and it will be very tasty and very nice and very healthy please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you keep on subscribing so I will get some more boost and I can make more and more videos and then I can show you. And also please don't watch the video and leave it. Most of the people do the same thing. They watch a lot of cooking videos up there. They watch each and every video and then they leave it. So it is not that only for the viewing. Please try this one. Thank you. Bye. So now we will prepare the marination. Take a small bowl. Take one spoon of red chilli powder one and a half spoon I have taken one spoon of salt so this marination I am making it for two fish a black pepper powder quarter spoon of a black pepper powder A quarter spoon of turmeric powder and this is a fish masala this is a ready-made fish masala I brought it from the store one spoon is sufficient and half a spoon of a ginger garlic paste we mix all the ingredients together So this marination we need in a soft consistency. So soft consistency for that we are going to use oil. So around two to three spoons of oil will be required for this one. I am putting two spoons. If it is little less then we will add one more spoon. So I added one more spoon of the oil. So total three spoons of oil only we used. So mix well so that the complete oil should be absorbed by the spices. So you can use a, either a lemon or some vinegar. So vinegar will give little sourness. So I am using one spoon of vinegar and also it tenderizes the meat.
so we have taken one sea bream fish it, it, this has a soft and silky skin on the top layer so this is already prepared at uh, the fish shop they made the book cut and everything but i will show you that how they cut into the like a book from the top they will cut and they open it like a book so this is called a kitab cut in the middle east with they call kitab cut even if you are staying in middle east you can go to the any fish shop and ask them to make it kitab cut so then they will do it and they'll give it to you so on the flesh if you apply this marination it sticks properly because the marination should stick on this one otherwise there won't be any taste so on the skin if you apply the marination it will not stick it will slip the marination here in the layers because of the small 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 layers of the fish all the marination will stick to this one just apply the marination like a massage so if you massage it properly that the marination will stick to this one and then it will go little inside the flesh the same way you can do it on the other side also so other side anyway it, it won't stick properly but this is sufficient when you deep fry or shallow fry this everything will go out so that is why we are making it into grill So when you shallow fry or deep fry that you should apply more marination because the 50% or 60% of the marination will go into the oil. The so here since we are grilling that we don't require a lot of marination for this one. Very nice. Very nice. So this is extra you can apply it to another fish or you can keep it in the fridge it is not going to get spoiled because there is no water or anything is involved in this one now just cover with the lid and keep it in the fridge at least half an hour if you keep it for one one and a half hour it will be very nice and then if you don't have time you keep it half an hour is sufficient so now it is taken out from the fridge after 45 minutes i have taken out I'm putting in the grill. I'm just, I have a gas grill. I'm, I will just switch on the grill. So, if you wish, you can just preheat the grill. Because normally, I don't require, I don't keep in a preheated grill for the fish because fish will not take much time to be cooked. Put it on the grill. Don't keep any plate or anything on the bottom, so that that heat has to come properly. on the fish i'm applying little oil on top of it so that it should not be over burned all the spices should not be over burned so you just just brush it around 180 degrees for at almost 15 to 20 minutes so it's better in between please check Now it is finished. I am taking out. So the fish is very soft. So sometimes it sticks on the floor, on the grill. So, so remove it properly. Yes, nice aroma is coming. Very nice. Very, very, very nice! Wow. So, a small piece got separated. It's okay. This we can eat as starter, or we can eat with the Arabic bread and garlic paste, etc. Or you can put it on the biryani rice and serve like a mandi. can eat with arabic bread garlic paste 
so this is very soft very nice very tasty outside crispy see outside crispy and inside it is juicy full of flavors very nice please try this one it will be very tasty please try